All right, welcome. Um, it is uh, Saturday. It's a Saturday morning, the last part of May. And uh, this is the last weekend of May before uh, June. So I think it's around 9.30 in the morning. I'm once again in Stinson Hollow. Uh, about to paint this scene here behind me. Um, I have yet to do a thumbnail sketch and probably am not, I'm probably, due to sake of time, I'm probably not going to do one on this. I want to really get really loose on this one and uh, just try to capture the light, which really I didn't get a good angle, but I'm just pleased with, with the location as far as my setup is concerned. Um, it's a very beautiful day, clear sky, low humidity, uh, slight breeze, um, probably about at the max six miles per hour, five to six miles, maybe at the most seven miles per hour. Not much wind, but uh, very good conditions for plein air painting. Um, got some people uh, working on uh, an area nearby me that's um, power washing and cleaning and then across the way um, they repair boats and work on boats. Um, Stinson Hollow is a very beautiful location. Um, not much scenery but very pleasant and quiet. A good place to live. Um, I just wanted to uh, I kind of drove around thinking of some scenes to paint and once again, I was led to come back and paint here, but from another perspective, from another location. I happened to find this in here. I'm very grateful and thankful to have this opportunity to paint. Uh, hopefully this painting will turn out well, and I will join you guys later at the end of this uh, video.
I have now completed the painting um, in plein air on this Saturday, lovely morning, um, the end of May, the last weekend of May. And so, um, very, very tranquil. Um, I do want to say to you all that I ran into another um, a situation with the umbrella where the wind took off with it. And I believe due to the fact that I'm near waterfront or near water and land, there's a, a tendency for wind to uh, be more strong near uh, sh uh, water lines and shorelines and stuff. So um, I believe that's probably what occurred, but in most places, probably not much wind blowing. But um, there was a wind that really gusted up pretty, pretty good, probably went up to close to 15 mile per hour and then it just died down, but it took off with my, uh, umbrella but fortunately I was able to do uh, Odell Beckham catch with it catch it right there and it didn't take off no further but um, I'm grateful to have um, come out here and had the time to be able to paint and create another uh, uh, beautiful painting I'm very pleased with this um, uh, results I was able to get a lot of details in also I learned where there was a, a big shift in my development and my understanding of color values, color value and um, intensity. Um, I know to make it more three-dimensional and have more depth, I had to be patient and keep my colors dulled down or the intensity down, or you was, or I should say, um, uh, desaturate or take out the intensity of the color by using more of my uh, raw umber. I, I used some raw umber in my palette instead of, I didn't even bring uh, a burnt sienna in my palette, so I used a, a darker um, brown. So I wanted to get my grays a lot better, and so that's why I did that. No black is used in any of my paintings, um, but very pleased, uh, able to get block in major shapes, then progress to uh, more refining within those major shapes and block ends and uh, work my values from from darks to the highlights and so that's what we have here this is the result and I'm very pleased uh, but um, but this part right here I pretty much um, kept it uh, white cooled it down because to give it more distance and depth even though when you're out here actually looking at it it doesn't show that but to make it more interest, interesting and more pleasant to the eye, that's what I did. So I'm very grateful to be able to paint, um, to be able to come out here and uh, just, just enjoy this time painting. Thank you all for watching this video. Please subscribe below.
and uh, I look forward to sharing some more of my plenary experience with you guys. God bless you. Thank you.